Bob, moments of brilliance. Neither side had really warmed up, so it went one frame all. Let's pick it up now for the start of the third frame, a describing play, Rex Williams and John Pullman. So the third frame, the match, one frame all. And it's Alex Higgins' turn to break. It's the best of nine frames, this quarter-final match in the Halfmaster World Doubles Championship. Well, that was certainly a full-blooded attempt from young John Parrott. He might be regretting that now, having left a nice easy red for starters for Jimmy Whirlwind White. One. Obviously the top red at the top of the cluster of four reds will go. 21. <coughs> 27. Thirty four. Thirty-five. Well, that's a useful red to uh, get out of the way. It's a little bit awkward. Didn't get into the Four three two. reds as he intended there. <coughs> Obviously, this is a very tight one to the centre pocket. So now what a chance here for Jimmy White. 49. 50. This uh, break has only taken three and a half minutes so far. 57. And Jimmy White really is a delight to watch when he's in full flow. Sixty-five. Sixty-six. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Seventy-nine. Well, this next one will have to be a good one. <laughs> and it's 
seeing that effortless. Okay. Extraordinary natural talent of this young man. Well, we could see quite a shot here. And that's what the audience had come to see, and it was certainly enough to give Higgins and White a 2-1 lead and good heart for the fourth frame. They're ahead, 27-5, and it's now Alex Hurricane Higgins who's going to be at the table to play. chance here for Alex. Choice of colours to get up under the loose reds. Nineteen. Twenty. That's a good pink. Didn't play to just touch the 26. red, which just stopped him getting a little bit closer to the pink. position a little bit there but has now retrieved the situation somewhat Higgins and White 27 <laughs> Griffiths and Paris 5 Higgins and White 54 so the Higgins White partnership beginning to gel 49 point lead in this fourth frame. One. Well, can only tickle in behind the brown. One, Griffiths and Park.
One. Six. Well, that's opened out that little cluster of reds around the black. Seven. Forty-one points the difference now. So there's still plenty of points on the table to win this frame. short with that one. 13. Wanted to come through another eight inches, I would think, to be on to the red that's closest to the black. So out of position and a safety shot. 13, Griffiths and Park. Immediately, the Griffiths Parrot partnership back with a chance. Thirty-five points in arrears, but still three reds on the table. Oh dear, and he'll be regretting that one. Griffiths and Parrot. Well, quite an extraordinary pot there from Jimmy White, but unfortunately for him, the cue ball disappeared as well. And he's left a free ball. Uh, Terry Griffiths can take any colour as a red. Will then be on a colour. Once again, a little bit short of that one, would have liked to have been another six or eight inches up the table, nicely onto the blue. And where's the cue ball going? Ball stroke. Well, Griffiths certainly things one. not happening Higgins in Terry Griffith's favour at the moment. Four. A free ball. And the same situation again, because the two reds are behind the black. It's a free ball. So Alex Higgins already 34 points in front. He can make something of this opportunity, should win the frame. One. And he's also the same, John. Short on pace and having to play a deep screw. Four. Well, 
All they can do now is play safety shot. So uh, Alex and Jimmy need one of these reds, 38 points in front, possible 43 on the table. Four, Higgins and one. Forty-six points in front now, with a, a possible 35 on the table, and what a beautiful positional stroke there from Jimmy White. Well, Jimmy White hardly aiming at that, and miscued. Well, he's done enough. The other side concedes, so Higgins and White go into the interval. Little three frames to one. Lead. And what a comforting score at the interval. We'll continue after our break. And welcome back to more World Double Snooker. In their bid for a semi-final place, Alex Higgins and Jimmy White lead Terry Griffiths and John Parrott by three frames to one. Alex weighed in with a very useful 46 in the fifth frame to extend that lead to 4-1. So to the six, Terry Griffiths at the table, his side in arrears 8-0. Here is a chance uh, for John Parrott. He'll have to run up for the blue. But that was rather a bad miss. Some shot that by Alex. Unfortunately, he's knocked that pink rather safe, so we'll have to take the blue on. Higgins and White, one. Now the best chance of the frame so far falls to Terry Griffiths. That black nicely out in the open. And quite a few reds as well. One.
Eight. Well, Terry can't quite believe that positional shot. Can be a very frustrating game at times. into having a go but this black's still not that easy Griffiths and Parrot nine Well, the ball's getting a little bit tied up, a little bit scrappy. There's only the one colour on its own spot. That's the brown. One. Six. Seven. And he's landed on the wrong side of the blue again. Just came a little bit too far down the table. Wanted to get onto that group of four reds near the pink spot. Well, John, this time might have an angle on the yellow to get up to the four reds that you suggested, Mark. And he didn't hit that too well. Fifteen. Brilliant player, John Parrott, but just finding life a little bit tough in the doubles. Griffiths and Parrott, 15.
Alex attempting to screw the cue ball back into the balk area, but he'll be quite happy with that where it's positioned at the moment. Reds for Terry, but not as easy as it looks, this one. And he's got the added pressure of Jimmy White coming behind him. Saddle down, please. One. White and Higgins 16. now one point in the lead. Seventeen. And it's quite possible for Jimmy White to win the frame and the match from this position. Twenty-four. Twenty-four, Higgins and White. Well, it certainly was a terrific opportunity, but he left to wait for another attempt. Now, what can John Parrott make of this situation? That looks good. Sixteen. Sixteen. Well, I don't believe that. That was an excellent opportunity. Things starting to get a little bit tense out there. <coughs> Alex Higgins and Jimmy White just requiring this frame for a place in the semi-final. And Terry Griffiths and John Parrott, well, they're fighting for their lives here. Stroke for Park. Well, that was just a little bit too fine, Jimmy. Park, 44. Higgins and White, 33. 11 points the difference in the favour of Terry Griffiths and John Parrott.
Would you believe it? He's done exactly the self same thing. Foul stroke. One. Well, it looks to be pretty straightforward to get onto the red that's just behind the brown. Surely he hasn't snookered himself behind the yellow. Six. Well, would you believe it? Six. Higgins and what? Just one point the difference. And Alex getting out of that snooker didn't want to hit the red too hard, but could have put Jimmy White in a bit of trouble. Oh, and Terry's, well, he's played a disastrous shot there. Should have had the white in behind the brown. So we've still got plenty of snooker left here. Well, Jimmy went for a tough pot there to try and clinch this match. One. Under normal circumstances, there would be no problem here for John Parrott. But he's only 20 years of age. We tend to forget that, so there's a lot of pressure on him. Eleven points in front now in this frame. Thirteen. He needs the brown and blue to make the frame safe. Seventeen. So we've still got a match on our hands here. 22. In goes the pink and John Parrott and Terry Griffiths pull one back. The scores are now Higgins and White, four frames, Griffiths and Parrott, two frames.
Well, we've had some dramatic fight backs this week. Can Griffiths and Parrot add another one to the record? Alex Higgins then breaks off in frame number seven. Best of nine frame match. Alex and Jimmy White still requiring one frame for a place in the semi-final. And Terry Griffiths here and his partner Jimmy White. I beg your pardon, John Parrott. They have pulled one frame back, but still have to win three in a row for a place in the semi-final. Eight. Jimmy covered the black spot with his white, the white ball. And that unfortunately Nine. means the black goes up the other end of the table on the only available spot. A chance now though to knock the blue in, take that red that's beside the blue, and then knock the black in to put it back on its own spot. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Well, you could hear the bad contact on that last shot from the commentary box. So Jimmy asking referee Len Ganley to give the white ball a service. And Jimmy's in perfect position still. Forty-six. Just a little bit unlucky there with that split. Looks as though the red will go into the middle. There you see it. Or maybe it doesn't. It certainly go goes past the pink into the middle if Jimmy can hit it. In fact, the red wouldn't go. Jimmy had to play with a lot of side, as you've seen perfectly, and that swerved the cue ball. And this 53 break has taken Jimmy White 53. about 16 seconds. 73. 74. Well, you're now watching the, mo the most exciting player the game's ever known. 
And there's another couple of spectators at the moment. Well, the match already over, so let's just sit back and watch Jimmy Whirl win white. 89. One hundred and seven. One hundred and nine. Mike Hallett from Grimsby has got the highest individual break at the moment, a break of 130. 116. 121. And he's going to have to play a good shot to beat the individual break here. I don't think Jimmy White was even thinking about that. Yeah. He won't be too disappointed there. What a brilliant 127 break from Jimmy White. And that takes him and Alex Higgins into the semi-finals, beating Terry Griffiths and John Parrott by frames to two.